team keep it clean this is huge news when it comes to the baltimore ravens and ronnie stanley and their future and we're going to get into exactly what that is before we do make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you don't miss this or any other videos when it comes to the baltimore ravens or just nfl in general i appreciate y'all and let's get right into it brian mcfarlane aka raven salary cap on twitter please make sure y'all follow him because he breaks down literally any and every baltimore ravens contract he lets us know the impact of it what's going on with it and so on and so forth but he he broke down ronnie stanley's revised contract that we had heard about uh, a couple of days ago from jeremy fowler but he gave us the details and listen to this because if you've been wondering like what's going to happen with baltimore ravens and ronnie stanley especially the future how long is he going to be around for this breaks it all down he said still need more details but ronnie stanley's revised deal now includes a 2024 salary of three million dollars down from 11 million dollars so boom right there eight million dollar pay cut from jump let's keep going though he said don't know yet about bonus and incentives and we're going to get to that but the revised deal has removed his 2025 salary and replaced it with a void year so that right there is huge because it says so stanley will be a free agent in 2025 boom so ronnie stanley this right here 2024 this is the final year of ronnie stanley with the baltimore Ravens. well the final contract year for now of course you know sometimes guys can get extended and whatnot but right now ronnie stanley is on the last year of his deal so they took the the 20 25 year and they removed it from his deal took it out completely so and they changed it to avoid year. and he continued he said so still don't know the impact of stanley's revised deal on the 2024 cap but there will be 6.6 .6 mil in dead money on the 2024 cap which would have counted on a cap either way that number will likely go up because the revised deal will likely contain a bonus that will prorate over 2024 and 2025 and he said this means that ronnie stanley will be playing 2024 to prove his worth as he becomes a free agent in 2025 and yeah so that's huge man like that's that, that's 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 big because i i y'all know i wondered I wondered for the longest time, like, man, what is going to happen with Ronnie Stanley? Like, they will continue to rework his contract, redo his contract, reconstruct his contracts. And it felt like they would just be prolonging it and pushing it back, pushing it down the road and whatnot. Uh, but with Ronnie Stanley, it was like, we talked about this a, a couple of days ago. It just feels like the Baltimore Ravens just continue to bank on hope. They continue to bank on, all right, we hope that he can be healthy. We hope that he will be healthy. And then, of course, at the end of last year, they started doing the whole rotation with him and Patrick McCarry. So I just thought that that was, that was something that was concerning because this is your starting left tackle. This is your big money starting left tackle. And you've got him on a rotation. That, like, that's concerning that that's still your your starter and you're paying them that big money uh but now this lets us know hey this is this is it like this is a big year for ronnie stanley uh but anyway continuing he broke it down even more he said stanley's revised deal now includes a base salary of three million dollars a roster bonus of one million dollars and this is a kicker right here and this is big especially for ronnie stanley it says and a 500k in per game roster bonus so he's only paid if he plays so with the 500k uh per game roster bonus you you play your game you get 500,000 you play the next game that's another 500,000 and that through 17 games if you play all 17 games you get 8.5 mil straight like that so when your money is on the line oh yo you gonna be suiting up that's gonna make you want to suit up even more so I expect to see a lot more Ronnie Stanley this year. We saw him a good chunk last year, but I expect to see a lot more of him this year for sure. That money on the line, ooh, that money will make you do some crazy things, won't it? And that, that money will make that pain go away, won't it? But, hey, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, continuing. He said the deal also includes 10 mil in not likely to be earned incentives. Uh, his 2024 cap number is now it's a little over $17 million, a reduction of $9.6 million. So, Eric DaCosta, he, he talked to Ronnie Stanley. He said, look, man, look, we got to work this thing out. We got to do some stuff different. Um, and that, while he did take a big, a big pay decrease, uh, he gets to be a free agent next year. So, yeah, it's a lot on the line right now for Ronnie Stanley. Now, this also reminds me of something that I've been wanting the Baltimore Ravens to do for years when it comes to Ronnie Stanley, and that is to have a plan in place to replace 
Ronnie Stanley. Uh, they need to have uh, a backup plan. Um, so who's going to be the, the next left tackle of the future? That is something that the Baltimore Ravens need to get figured out ASAP. Now, uh, if Ronnie Stanley is going to be on the team this year, in my opinion, it does give you some flexibility with that um, because you could do a couple of things. You could draft somebody who can play left tackle but can also play right tackle, um, and then you can keep them around this year, and that could be your right tackle for now. Then when Ronnie Stanley leaves, they could be your left tackle. Or you can go through this year with Ronnie Stanley as your left tackle and then draft the person next year. It just it, it all depends. But Ravens need to get that taken care of for sure um, because their days with Ronnie Stanley are coming to an end. And while it is still possible that they could sign him to a new contract later on down the road, they could sign him to a contract extension. I honestly, and I know we didn't even get through this season yet, but I don't foresee that happen. I, I don't see it. And it's, I, it's super early, and I don't like to make like bold claims super early, anything like that. But based off of the history, I, I just don't see them re-signing Ronnie Stanley again. I, I really don't. And I think they are definitely going to move in another direction. We won't know till we know, of course, but I, I just I don't see it happening. Um, so this is this is significant, man. <laughs> this is really, really big for the Baltimore Ravens and Ronnie Stanley. But again, it clears up uh, some of the biggest questions that we had before. Um, and now we know what the future holds. So we'll see how Ronnie Stanley deals with this, how he handles it, how his body handles it, how his body responds uh, to this new contract, because this is big. Now, uh, something else that was big, former Baltimore Raven, a uh, very familiar face, uh, who there were a lot of Ravens fans who had a lot of different conversations about this player. Uh, some wanted him to come back to the Ravens. Some were like, no, we don't ever want to see him on the Ravens again. Uh, and that being Hollywood Brown. We talked about it in yesterday's video that there were rumors circulating around about Hollywood Brown, about the uh, the possibility of him going to the Kansas City Chiefs. There were even some some tweets and some, some pictures that he liked uh, of himself on the Chiefs or him in like Chiefs jersey and whatnot and that got people to thinking like oh it's is this really going down and you saw it from a lot of different Chiefs fans oh yeah Hollywood coming to the Chiefs he coming to the Chiefs and now he went to the Chiefs he signed a one-year deal uh worth seven mil seven mil base and it's worth up to 11 million dollars so he got a nice extra four million dollars that he can earn uh with the Kansas City Chiefs and that's going to be nice for Hollywood Brown uh that is an offense that they they going to use you. They going to use you and they going to find ways to use you. Um they him with the deep ball and Patrick Mahomes that is going to be a pretty sight to see. But like we said yesterday, like look, Hollywood, man. You joining the Chiefs? I'm happy for you. Uh but look, when Ravens got to take care of business, especially in the second game. Especially in the set like first game like I said yesterday, man, I'm not that I'm not worried about the first game against the Chiefs, but the second game, that's everything. That's going to be everything. That is going to be the game that gets us to where we need to go. And Hollywood, you joining the Chiefs is cool, but Ravens got bigger plans. And you right now, you my guy. You know that. You my guy. But you're going to be in the way of those plans, and we're just going to have to push you to the side, especially that second game. But, yeah, just know it ain't nothing personal it well, was it is personal with the chiefs it ain't nothing personal with you well you with the chiefs so i guess it's personal with you too now but ravens got to take care of business this year for sure because last year coming up short and the way they came up short was just yeah um but yeah but shout out to hollywood man he um he's going to a real good situation a real good situation uh he left the baltimore ravens to go to the cardinals and it just the, the timing ended up being so bad because with the baltimore ravens he was he well, i was about to say he was healthy but it was just his rookie year he was dealing with the um he had the screws in his foot so he wasn't even healthy his rookie year that's why he would be off like every friday practice um but after that he was pretty healthy i think hollywood missed maybe one maybe two games in his career with the ravens like nothing crazy like the you can count the number of games that hollywood missed probably on with yeah with two fingers definitely on one hand but not you don't even need your whole hand you don't even need half your hand but he, he ain't hardly missed any games like at all hollywood was healthy he was very very healthy with the baltimore ravens um but then it just is weird. He went from the Baltimore Ravens to the Arizona Cardinals after requesting to be traded because he didn't like the system. Um, and then 
he got hurt, Kyler Murray got hurt, and it was just it it, it was just bad, man. The, the the timing just it just everything got messed up, and it's weird how that works because it just reminds me of somebody like uh like okay that's that's Marquise Williams, um, but with us, I mean Marquise Brown, I'm tripping, I'm mixing the two up, um, but with Marcus Williams, with us, with the Saints, perfectly healthy. Perfectly healthy with New Orleans just doing his thing over there, eating gumbo and all that, getting the picks over there. All right, cool. We did give up the the little the the what was it the um the mini Minneapolis miracle or whatever it was called, the Stefan Diggs. Okay, cool. Man, he was healthy with New Orleans though. Came to the Ravens, boom, can't stay healthy. It's just weird stuff changing. I don't know if it's the food, I don't know if it's the diet, I don't know if it's the water, I don't know what it was, but. With Hollywood, again, that's what happened to him. Healthy in Baltimore, goes to Arizona and just missed time with injuries. And then, of course, with Kyler Murray missing time, too, it didn't help anything. Uh, but now, yeah, he'll go to Kansas City and get a chance to have a good year. And he's obviously going to have some success. Hopefully, it's not a Super Bowl because Ravens got to get that this year because this is the 12th year. Every 12 years, they got to get it. Um, but I'm sure he's going to have a lot of success. And that sets him up for free agency next year or the possibility of re-signing with the kansas city chiefs so hollywood would be in a real good situation uh and then somebody else who was in a good situation last year uh and they did their thing was jadavian Clowney. jadavian Clowney was an excellent part of the baltimore ravens they signed him late in the off season um but he made a big impact he was a great teammate he was a great player uh and he made his mark with the baltimore ravens he probably should have had like 15, 16 sacks from all the sacks that he missed. Um, but Jadavion Clowney, he got that pressure. And he did get a good amount of sacks, but he made some plays. So shout out to Jadavion Clowney. Um, but he said, you know what? I like the Ravens. I'm interested in the Ravens. The Ravens are interested in me, but I got to take some visits. So he has visited already with the Carolina Panthers. No deal. So next up, he's looking to visit with the Jets. I think they said on Monday or Tuesday. So Jadavion Clowney got some visits lined up. And look, man, like, look, Jadavion Clowney, he is a businessman. And with him, he does what he wants. And what I mean when I say that is a lot of, there, there have been a lot of rumors um, years prior that Jadavion Clowney, he didn't like training camp. He said he didn't like training camp and uh, he was not a fan of it, didn't want to, didn't want to participate in it. So what would happen? While those rumors were floating about, there would be a lot of times where he would sign after training camp. He would sign like late, late, late. Uh, into the offseason. They'd be like, ah, oh, okay, maybe those rumors are true. But, hey, whatever they are, man, bring Jadavion Clowney back. I, I think with Jadavion Clowney, um, again, him being a businessman, uh, he knows his worth. He knows that there are teams that are significantly interested in him. Uh, and he knows that the Baltimore Ravens are one of those teams. Um, and Ravens got him for cheap last year. They got him for cheap last year, and he outplayed his contract by far. Uh, so now it's like, all right, show me some real money. And what these visits do, him visiting with the uh, the Panthers and now him visiting, getting ready to visit with the Jets very soon, um, that puts more pressure on the Baltimore Ravens to like, hey, you taking all these visits? Like, hey, no, 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 come back home. Come back home. And that can make Baltimore Ravens up their money for Jadavian Clowney. Now, on the flip side, it could work. It could have a reverse effect. Because Eric DaCosta may be looking at it like, all right, Jadavion Clowney, if they did give him an offer, which I do not know. I didn't hear nothing about it. But if they gave him an offer, he could have been like, all right, Jadavion Clowney, here. This is what we're offering you. Say, just to throw some random numbers out there, two years, 10 mil. Say, it's a two year, $10 million contract. All right, Jadavion Clowney. And that's just a hypothetical. Not saying that's what he's worth, not say, just using that as a hypothetical number. If they put that out there, hey, Jadavion Clowney, here, two years, 10 mil. That's what we're offering you. And he's like, uh. Now nah, I'm going to go visit with the Panthers. All right, okay. And Eric DeCosta's like, you know what? Two years, 11 mil. There you go, 5.5 mil per year. That's what we're offering you. And he's like, uh, you know what? I'm going to go visit with the Jets. All right, two years, 12 mil. That's six mil per. Uh, Eric DeCosta could end up being like, you know what? That's my final offer. You go on your visits, go do your thing. Hey, if you get signed by one of those teams for more money, for a more lucrative contract, hey, by all means, do your thing. Go get your bread. But I know the success that you can have here with the Baltimore Ravens. You saw what we did last year. We're close. We're super, super close. And we should have been there last year, but you know what? This year we improved some different pieces. We still got some a long, long way to go with the offensive line and some other stuff too. But 
uh, we we're right there, and you can be a part of what we had right there. You go to you go to Carolina, all right, cool. Y'all a long ways off. Y'all not even close right now. Anything could happen, but y'all a long ways off. You go to the Jets, hey, Aaron Rodgers. Hopefully, he can stay healthy. Um, but there's a lot of dysfunction up there with the New York Jets right now, so we'll see what happens with that. But hey, you go do your things, Jadavian Clowney. So it, it could work in a couple of different ways. So Jadavian Clowney with these visits. It could work to his favor with the Ravens or Jadavian Clowney with these visits. It, it may he could price himself out or Ravens could be like, you know what? No, no, thanks. We're done. So we'll see what happens with that. Again, my hope is that Jadavian Clowney does return to the Baltimore Ravens. Y'all know he's somebody that I had always wanted to be with the Baltimore Ravens. That's why when it happened last year, I was so, so, so happy and glad that he showed up in a major way last year for the Ravens as well.